Yard. Oh, sports up, guys. We're back. I'm Lauren. I'm Kate. And we're so happy to have you guys back for Game 7 Winner Takes All Cubs Indians. I'm so excited. We're getting right into it. This so is exciting. something that we can't we can't waste time on. We got to talk about it. We need to talk about it. Oh, we have to talk about it because there's oh. nothing else. I mean, <laughs> every everything else should just stop. It's the World Series. Honestly, I'm being completely honest. To me right now, there's nothing else going on. Right? To exactly. me right now, there's nothing else going on in my life but tribes and the cubbies. I know. Exactly. That's. I mean, last night's game, I had looked at my phone and it was the third inning, I think I texted you, it was 7 nothing, 7 mm-hmm. nothing Cubs. Mm-hmm. And I was like... For, to come back being down three games to one and then coming back and winning and winning on the road in Cleveland, yep. that that's it's just it's amazing how they pulled that off. It is. I mean, I was in night class. OK, so for all of my lovely other students, fellow students that were in night class as well, dying, slowly dying, because that's <laughs> all I wanted to watch was baseball. But no, here I was sitting in night class. Game six was on and I was doing communications. Um, I was just, I I had, I had like MLB.com up. Like I had everything up, like trying to get like up to date, like notifications and stuff like that. But it just wasn't the same. But I got out at nine and ran over to my friend's house and finally, finally got to watch some baseball. And that's when the Grand Slam came and, uh, just propelled the Cubs, um, to win last more night. and to win last night um but i, I me I, i'm a, I'm a bit of a facts kind of gal i know you are bit I, of a facts i know you gal i know you love the facts yeah i love the facts i love just knowing certain like cool things like about each team because about that, each yeah each as, team each city like what their franchises are going through like i just love knowing those kinds of like things. we did last week on the show we were talking about like the distance between these two cities and driving wise, it's only right. four and a half, five, five hours, hours. Yeah. Which is not that bad when you consider it like driving. And then it's like an not hour plane ride. Yeah. And we were talking about that. It's kind of like from here to Buffalo. Yeah. And like, we were talking about like things that weren't invented while these two teams were Yo. the last time. <laughs> the NBA wasn't even a thing. I know. We talked about that last week, which I think is so cool that we looked up all these facts and there's something that you wouldn't necessarily Mm -hmm. most people wouldn't necessarily look up right and um i mean the real question i mean i've been asking myself is this is that can the cubs even can the cubs go all the way and can they win this out because they were down 3-1 right right so they're trying to come they're the sixth team by the way um to rally from 3-1 down and they're the seventh to win game six and if they win game seven on the road um Here's a little bit. All right, we'll get into that later. But um, let's start with our, our pitchers tonight. So we got Corey Kluber on the mound for the Indians, for the Tribe, and we got Kyle Hendricks on the mound for Chicago Cubs. Um, both pitchers are outstanding. They're crazy outstanding good. Outstanding pitchers. Good. But one name that really sticks out is Kluber. Kluber is 4-0 in, in 2016 postseason, okay? he's His ERA is .89. And he has 35 strikeouts. Which is crazy. It's which, insane. Which you don't expect somebody to have a .89 ERA. No. Especially in the, po- in the postseason, which is crazy ridiculous. No, it, it, it's it's honestly, and, and he is, I mean, he is such a, such a, what's the word I'm looking for? Such an atmosphere on the mound when he pitches. When He's Kluber's great. on the mound, it's like, all right, this is... This is business. This is serious stuff. And you can't kind of, you know, it was kind of, people were talking about how, you know, Lest, when Lester pitches for the, pitched for the Cubs uh, earlier in the, in, in the series, and it was game one when he let them, was it game, game one? Game one, they, right? they lost. And game I one, they, he, they and lost. He, and it was, Lester's such a pitcher. He kind of has that same dynamic as Kluber, I think. And he just didn't have it that game. Kluber is a pitcher that I feel like if he de- if he doesn't come out in that first inning dominating, I don't I don't I don't know. I don't think if he doesn't come out dominating tonight, I I honestly really think that the Cubs can take advantage of that, and they right. have to take advantage of that to win tonight exactly. and win the World Series. He won Game One and he won Game Four, and uh, Terry Francona said. Um, so he's pitching on short rest. Yeah, bo- well, both of them are pitching on short rest actually, because Kyle Hendricks is only one and one in the postseason, and Hendricks pitched. 
Burr, burr, burr. He pitched, I think, what? Game. He pitched game three. Oh, no, that's that's Miller who pitched game three and four for the Indians. But Hendricks just pitched, like, what, game three? Or he might have pitched game three. I feel like he um, pitched, like, game two or something. Have, yeah, but they're both on short rest. That's the one thing that really stands out is that these both of these pitchers are going off. I mean, Kluber's last game was four. There we go. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, Kluber's last game was four. Kluber's last game was four. So, is well, he pitched one and four. And Kyle Hendricks, I think, pitched game two or game four. I'm not sure. I don't but know. But both, both on time. short rest. Exactly. But um, here's one thing. So now Terry Francona, uh, he's kind of been dominating with Miller. We went, we talked about uh, the yeah. closers, how they're from the Yankees. Miller is a fire, fire, fire closer. Okay. And relief. And um, that's a great asset for the yeah, it is. F- and for the Indians. Tonight. He's locked down 10 huge middle inning outs across games three and four. And here's one thing you want to hear this. The Indians have won every game in the postseason that Miller has appeared in and lost four out of the five. He hasn't. That's interesting to me because. When he was even with the Yankees, I mean, it's just it, it it breaks my heart that he's still not with them. But to be quite honest, that's a really interesting statistic to me because he's he's so dominating. And I feel like as a relief pitcher, you don't get that all the time. And I think that's yeah. maybe something that other people get like they're like, OK, if he's on the mound, I know I can do this. I know. And I think other people maybe are maybe on the Cubs are a little bit afraid of him. But honestly, right. They should be. He's he has an. His arm is ridiculous, oh. and he's pitched. I don't know how many games he's pitched in this postseason, but he's been dominant every single one he's really pitched. He really has. I mean, I think he's been in almost it's all of them. them. So is Chapman, really. Another, that's another thing with Chapman now, I think, is that they, with that kind of a lead that the Cubs had last night, right? Yeah. Why bring in Chapman in the seventh? I don't understand why you would bring him in the seventh. You would bring him in in the ninth to close it out. That's what I'm saying. Why bring him in the seventh? Keep him <sighs> at least. I would see. Okay, maybe the eighth. I would. I would eighth. be okay with Keep the eighth him for that extra inning, though. Don't 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 do that because you could possibly need him you're tonight. Gonna, you're definitely gonna. Oh, Miller yeah. and Chapman are definitely gonna be thrown tonight. I think. I think no matter what, and depending what the on what kind of a game it is, I think it, if it's a complete. I don't think we're going to get a complete like shutout from either team because so. this is game seven. You don't do that. No, I, I think it's going to be a very yeah. neck and neck yeah. all the way through game. And I think yeah. I, I think the crowd is going to be a big factor tonight as well. Yeah. Oh, 100%. I think the atmosphere of, of, any, of any ballpark has a huge part on, on their home team. But I mean, especially considering the fact that it's Game Seven, and both teams have been in such droughts. I mean, these are really long droughts that we're talking about here. Combined, and it's what like it's how it's what, like a hundred. Well, it's a hundred and eight. I have it right here. Uh, where did I write it down? It's a hundred and eight games, a hundred and eight years for the Cubs, the Cubbies, and sixty eight for the Tribe. So that's a hundred and seventy six years combined. Right for the drought. So 176 year combined drought for these cities, and um, it's it's going to end for one city tonight, and for the other, it's just going to keep continuing into next season, and hopefully, maybe they'll come back to where they were this year. But I mean, Mets, we said it. Mets, Ro- Mets, be- <laughs> Royals beating the Mets, and Mets not going for uh, what since '86, and then the mm-hmm. Royals. But where are the Mets? Uh, you know what I mean? It's exactly. like you think, okay, you made it last year. You there's gonna be a good chance you might make it again this year, right? But mm-hmm. when you have two teams, when you have a team that won 103 regular season games, like the Cubs did, and the Indians coming out of nowhere, having you know Hendricks and Kluber, and I mean Kluber, sorry, Kluber and Kipnis and all those players, like it's it's it's, it's gonna be a season. It's gonna be a series, man. This game seven is gonna be something. And like you predicted last week, that we were gonna go g- seven games. You have to go seven games with these two teams, right? Th- it would be such a disappointment if it was done in like four games. That's exactly what I was saying. We were talking about this before our show, and we were just talking about how both cities, right? Exactly, really deserve these tight. The, it's the hundred. Okay, so this is Major League Baseball's one hundred twelfth title, one hundred twelfth World Series, and it's kind of like. It's almost Joe Madden said it as well, and it's what I said too. It just it's correct and apt that we'd go seven games. Exactly. It's it's just 
You have I to. I feel as though for the Cubs and for the Indians in this kind of a series, you it has to be seven games. What kind of baseball would it have exactly. been if, if the Indians just gave up? I mean, I, if, if the Cubs just gave up when they were down 3-1 and gave up game six, and that was it, there go the Indians, they win in six games. No, that's not what Chicago deserves. That's not what Cleveland deserves. They deserve a seven-game series going into the bottom of the ninth with a walk-off or, 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 or even going into extra innings. That's what they... That's what both cities deserve. That's it's, what the fans deserve. That's exactly. what baseball in general deserves. Every The fa- fans of baseball, I think, tonight, I feel like it's going to be a very... I feel like a lot of people might be glued to their t- to their TVs tonight. Oh, oh, oh. You have no idea. After the Iona College water polo game, which is at 7 o'clock on the pool deck, you guys all need to be there. Um, we haven't beat St. Francis in 20 years, by the way. That's a side note. But right after that, <laughs> Look, I, am running, I am running over to my local... Mur, 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 and watching the game. Exactly. That's I, what I am doing because this game is so important. Here's one thing. Ready? I'm making a statement. If you are a baseball fan, I don't even care who's your team. If you're a baseball fan and you're not watching tonight's game, you're not a real pick fan. Pick another sport. Pick another sport. Then you're not a real fan of baseball. Pick another sport. Because honestly, this is going to be the game of, this, of the century to me. To me. But okay. we're huge baseball fanatics. I love baseball. <laughs> I love baseball. I love everything about it. I love Are you the sad? players. Are you sad that it's coming to a close tonight? I am. This I am, but it's always bittersweet. You know what I mean? Yeah, because then you look forward to February. You look forward to, oh my gosh, you look forward to February. <laughs> and you kind of just kind of get to enjoy, I guess, for the next week or even month, really, like the Cubs and and. Or, or or the Indians yes. going, you know, <laughs> watching the parades and seeing the highlights, and just, you just kind of like reminisce about like the seri- the the whole season, really, the exactly. whole whole season, and your own team, and us being the Yankee fans, we, you know, we got next year to look forward to. We got exactly. a lot of people coming up. I I'm excited. I think I think tonight's game should be amazing. I'm excited I to watch it, it. I can't wait to yeah. see what's going to happen. Here's another thing. So if the Cy Young Award voting stays the way or is, is going the way as uh, experts expect it to go, it'll mark just the fourth time two pitchers who finished in the top 10 in their respective leagues face in Game 7. Really? So, yep. So um, Kluber won the AL Cy Young in 2014. Um, but the other three games, it was game seven of 2001, and we all know that game. Oh, unfortunately. If you're a Yankee fan, 2001. Was not a fun year. Nope. And if you're an American, 2001 wasn't a fun year either. But 2001 for Yankee fans was definitely not a fun year. Nope. That's when we lost to the Diamondbacks. Who only started in what, 18? 1998. Or seven. 1997, I think, was their first year as a team. <sighs> so we lost to the Diamondbacks, but we won the Cy Young. Ow. We won the Cy Young with Roger Clemens, and um, he went up against Kurt Schilling, who finished second in the NL. Um, which he actually, he lost to Randy Johnson, who was his own teammate that year. Serious? Which is, isn't that weird? That's so weird. Isn't that so weird? Like, you, you come in second to the Cy Young on someone who's on your own team. That's weird, right? I mean, Randy Johnson's a, he's is like a elite, like a legend. You know yeah, what I mean? He is. Like that man threw, that man was throwing a hundred when nobody else was even getting close to like ninety five. I mean, exactly. This isn't true, but, but you he, know what I mean. He was throwing a hundred when no one else was throwing a hundred, really. <laughs> and then the second game was Game Seven, nineteen eighty five. That was um, the Royals against the Cardinals. That was Tudor against Saberhagen. So he won. Saberhagen for the Royals won. Um, he threw a shutout. Wow. In game seven. Wow. Yeah, he won the MVP too. Which makes sense when you throw a shutout right? in game I mean, seven. If you're going to throw a shutout, you might you deserve Perfect. the MVP. I'm sorry, you really do you deserve You really it. do deserve the MVP because who's doing that? No one else. I mean, I, honestly, I could see Kluber throwing a shutout tonight. I could see him doing it too. Even though I don't want it. I, I mean, see, I, I don't care who wins, but if I want someone to win, it's the Cubs. I really, I really think he, if he focuses enough, I really think that he could throw a shutout and... It, like the Cubs' offense has been hit or miss lately. It's like it they're they're either r- really really off or they're r- really really on. on. Like we saw last <laughs> night. That exactly. last night something clicked and they were they were just on. Whereas other nights they just haven't been on. And it's like yeah, crap. It, it's, it's, it's not also, good. It's also it's also you know pitching and I think also that kind of 
I've been in these kinds of playoffs, like playoffs and like championships like these. But it's like if you don't if you don't have it that day, you're not gonna have it. Exactly. You really aren't. It's 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 just the mentality of that day when you wake up. I mean, you take it back to 2014 when softball, Iona softball, won the max. You know, we were undefeated in that whole series. We get to Manhattan College on Saturday, ready for the championship, and we lose one nothing. But since we went undefeated, we get another chance, come back Sunday, and we win, right? So it's it's that day, I'll tell you right now, Saturday when we woke up, I knew we weren't going to win. It was just, you have that, you, you, have that you meet with the team and you start warming up, you almost have that all, the, you have that sense of something doesn't feel right, something feels off, you know what I mean? Yeah. Baseball is alive and well. I'm telling you that right now. Baseball is its own organism. It's it's its own. It has its own gods. Baseball knows, okay? Baseball knows when you disrespect it. Baseball knows who deserves it the most. And tonight, whoever wins, we're going to know who deserves it the most. Obviously. but Who put in the most work. It exactly. Knows. It Baseball really does. knows. And for the people who listen to this and are, are going, eh, what are you even talking about? It's Baseball's a sport. I can't know. For people who watch baseball and who played it or who played softball yeah, growing up and just love the sport, you've seen things yep. over the years that you just, there's no way. I know in high school there was a couple. There's no way. Exactly. I know in high school there was a couple, uh, there was, it was a semifinals game and I knew, I was a sophomore, our coach was retiring at the end of the year and I just knew riding on that bus two hours, I knew something was off with us as a team and we ended up losing. Right. The chemistry is off that day. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I think for the Cubs, their chemistry has just been a little off. You know, they've just been in, they, they've just, I mean, when everybody was saying it was 3-1, they're like, oh, they're choking, they're going to choke, they're going to lose, blah, 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 blah. No, 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 no. You got to keep the faith. Have faith in Anthony Rizzo. Have faith in Bryant. Have faith in Hendricks. Have faith in Joe Madden. He is such an amazing, amazing manager, and so is Terry. Terry's an amazing manager too. I mean, they're both. And I can't like, knock him. I mean, he did. I know. He was a Boston Red Sox manager. I know you and I both have. We have our own. Yeah, <laughs> me and Kate have our own views on Terry, but you can't knock him that he is an amazing no, manager. No, he's an amazing manager. He is. And, I mean, and I think he really is. He, I think both managers really deserve can't it. Just both teams win. I know. I. I mean. Hoping for this, <laughs> we, we hope for win. this scenario too, and we knew it was going to be difficult coming down to this. Yeah, but it's difficult trying to choose. Oh, do I? Re- who do you want to win? It's like, right? I don't know. It's like they're both really good teams. Exactly. You can, it's hard to make a decision. It's like hard that. to make a decision. I mean, on the one hand, I want Cleveland to win because, yeah, let's be real. Like Kluber is an amazing pitcher, and they Kipnis have an amazing, is an amazing player. They have an amazing. Team. They have an amazing team, right? They also uh, have to play in the same city as LeBron. Yeah, and when the Indians beat the Cubs that night, it was when the Cavs were getting ringed or something. Yep. So Cleveland wins. I personally, I've said it last week too. I think I said it the week before that. I just would, if Cleveland wins, I'd be, I would be happy because it would overshadow LeBron winning and him being the king of Cleveland. And now they yeah, have enjoy that. like thirty something other kings of Cleveland now. If 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 the Indians win, see, I I I personally like that because not that I'm a huge LeBron James fan. Um, I just think. The hype with him is ridiculous, and calling him the king of Cleveland is ridiculous. Um, <laughs> but I think, as a team, I think it would be nice to have another team in Cleveland win and then take that spotlight away from him. Absolutely. I, I think, would love that 100%. I think it would be better for the city of Cleveland for them not to just focus on basketball. I think it would give them another thing to focus on. Absolutely. And I think also, like, Cubs baseball, I mean, Indians baseball, has just been so. I mean, they make Major League, the movie Major League was about Indians baseball. You know what I mean? Like they've always been an organization that no one really kind of respected. No, they have. You know, There's no one's really had respect for the Indians franchise. Exactly. Not a lot of people have had respect for the Cubs franchise. Exactly. You know what I mean? When you go that long without winning, you, you you're not going to get that kind of respect. You do. But I mean, I think it would just be so big for both cities, both fan bases, both teams. Um, if but if one of either one wins and and exactly. and and if the Cubs don't win tonight, they had one hell of a season. Sorry, I don't know if I'm supposed to hell. Heck of a season. <laughs> uh, they yeah. went 103 regular season wins. I know it's a they were breaking season. records left and right. So exactly. you want to know what? Even if they don't win, they had an a season that their city, their 
fan should base be, should be proud of. They should be proud of that. They went 103 games winning. It's yep. it's just something that you should be proud of. Yep. Uh, and then and take that momentum into the next season yep. and say, hey, we did this already. We can do it again. And let's just push ourselves a little bit harder You, if they don't win tonight. And I yep. think even if they do win tonight, I think that momentum is just going to carry them into the next season. Yeah. It would be good. It exactly. would be good for them. Oh, uh, exactly, one hundred percent. And next season they'll still have Rizzo. They'll still have Bryant. I mean, I think There's, they might get rid of Chapman because I think he, he wants to go back to the Yankees. He said it. He verbally he has said it. He wants to go back to the Yankees. I don't know how I feel about that one. You don't want Chapman back at the Yankees? Um, I do and I don't. Um Explain. I don't, I don't know if I love him in the locker room. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay. I, I, I don't know. But you like, love him on the mound. I love him on the mound, just not in the locker room. Um I think with Alex Rodriguez not being there, I think it would be okay. And they've gotten rid of a couple of the cancers that's been in the locker room. Yeah. Um, and then hopefully... I'm talking about cancers. That's been there for years. <laughs> years. Um, um, I'm hoping Joe Girardi is done after the season, too. But, um, wow. Sorry. Really? Yeah, I'm not a Joe fan. I like Joe. <laughs> I'm not a, a Joe bit. fan. Sometimes I think he just makes dumb decisions, but that's every manager, really. Um, I think he leaves people in too long uh, yeah, or takes yeah. them out too soon. soon. Those are things that, like, irritate me. Um, But I think having Chapman back, I think, would be good, and it would give... um. It would give Batances a bit of a break. Yeah. I think I like him better as like a seventh or eighth inning pitcher, and I think he's not really closer material. Mm. I think it would be better that. to have Chapman back, I think, uh, and closing out in the ninth inning. I just think it would be mm. a better situation for them. So I would agree with that. I hope that I, I hope that's I would... what happens. And then they have a they're if he does come back, they're having a World Series pitcher come back with them. That's what I'm saying. So, so they're having someone come back, and even if they don't win tonight, they're yeah. still having somebody who went to the postseason and knows exactly. what it takes to get there. Exactly. I would just like to have him back, just because I never got to go see a game with him pitching. Oh, oh I did, and I, I want to see a hundred and something mile an hour fastball down the plate. I just want to see it. I, I want to s- hear what it sounds like. Oh. I want to. I want to be down by the field when that happens too. So like, I, I was in, pray for that. I was in left field when he pitched the one night. I think that was the night that he pitched one hundred and five mm. when I was there. Oh, one hundred five one. Yep. Oh my gosh. We took my eighty nine year old grandmother with us, so she got to see him pitch. So. Oh my gosh, that's insane. So it was cool for her to see that. Um, um, cause she had met while we're talking about legends, uh, she had met Babe Ruth <laughs> talking about legends. You're talking about the legends. Yeah. <laughs> she met him. Um, so there's a ball somewhere. There's so. a, baby Ruthie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so he, I want to, this was one thing that we, I was talking about coincidence. Yes, we did. The Cubs are the first team since 1997, and we all know what happened in 1997. Cubs' first team since 1997, Indians, to win game six on the road. How much of a coincidence is that? Are you kidding me, man? Since 97, the Indians. Just so happened that the Indians were in 97, and we all know what happened in 97. Yankees. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Yep. I don't want to talk about it. Um, But uh, come on, man. Are you serious? That's a big coincidence. Yeah. Didn't, don't we have more coincidences? No. We is that d- I think that was, the that was I mean, that was the biggest coincidence. That's, that's but, just weird. Come on. That's just, it's just so weird. Come on, man. That They're it the happened. first team since 97 to win game six on the road. Mm-hmm. On the road. I think this, I really have faith in the Cubs tonight to, I do too. to pull it through. Here's another thing. So, okay. So the Cubs are trying to become the sixth team to rally from a 3-1 and uh, go to the seven to win game six, and they're the seven team to win game six, and if they win game seven on the road. So the other five teams that did it to rally from a three one is in eighty five it was the Royals over the Cardinals. Okay. Seventy nine was the Pirates over the Orioles. That's one. That's the one that you don't hear a lot. Yeah, the right. Pirates and the Qu- Cardinals. Yeah, and the Orioles. Sixty eight are Tigers Cardinals. Interesting. Fifty eight was the Yankees over the Braves. Okay. And now we're getting so old. Okay. We're going all the way back to the 20s. Oh. 1925, Pirates over the Senators. Who who were the Senators? Exactly. <laughs> I'm sorry. Who were the Senators? <laughs> exactly. They're not even a team anymore. So, <gasps> okay. Uh, but I'm just saying is that there's only ever been five other teams to do this. The, and it would be and, pretty and, historic and, for them and, to do it. And if you look at the teams that went over, it's Royals, Pirates, Tigers, Yankees. Interesting. I I honestly think the Cubs should be in that category, so I I would be happy with that. Oh, absolutely. I 100% agree with that. But I think think tonight's game is going to be something that is going to be historical. I think it's going to be a game that everybody should watch. I think it's going to be a game that 
as a baseball fan, this is what you want. Exactly. You know what I mean? They did an interview with Kluber yesterday, and he's like, you know, this is everybody's dream. Every every little boy, every little kid, boy, I have to say boy because it's only for baseball. Girls can't play baseball because, you know, why... Why let that happen? Why let that happen and let us become better at it? No, we can't no, let that happen. Not so at we all. have softball. Um, but oh, I know. Uh, every little boy dreams, a baseball fan boy dreams, going to game seven of the World Series. Of the World Series. That's you know every what I mean? Coming boy down to the dream. bottom of the ninth or going to the top of the tenth, bottom of the tenth. You know what I mean? Like extra innings. This is baseball. That you would know? be amazing if they did go extra innings. And I think that's. I think anybody on either team, I think that's been their dream since the time they started playing baseball. I'm predicting this right now. It's going to go to extra innings. All right. Game seven, extra innings, and Cubs are going to come out on top. What are you doing? What are you predicting? I'm predicting that, I don't know. I think I'm going to, I want to predict the Cubs that are going to win. I okay, feel that's like, fine. We can have the same pr- winning predictions. We don't have to have different I don't winning know predictions. I don't know if they're going to go extra innings, though. I feel like they might okay. get it done in nine innings. You Oh, all right. I, I'm going with nine innings in the Cubs. Um, uh, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm, if it doesn't, I, I mean, I, I want it to go extra innings just because, like, I want more baseball. <laughs> yeah, because I both. don't want it to end ever. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm predicting, I'm predicting extra innings, and the Cubs winning, hoisting up that trophy at the end. That would be just amazing, and they win popping on that the champagne. You know what I mean? In their away uniforms, I think that right? would be. I think that would be amazing. Kind of a slap in the face to Cleveland is that. That's a big we slap just, in the face. We just were 3-1, and one, and yes. you thought we were going to lose. Joke's on you. We come back and beat you game seven in your own hometown, and now we got to go back home so we can have, have our have parade. Our, have our parade. Sorry. Oh, Peace out. Gosh. I mean, I wish I, we were closer to Chicago because I would, oh, oh my gosh, I would go to that parade. You and I would both be at that parade. I would really go to that parade. Speaking of parades, I might go to Thanksgiving parade. Are you That's besides the point. We're talking about baseball. <laughs> but I'm just saying. That just popped in my head. <laughs> I might go. Might not go. Um, I really want to go to a Yankees parade. <laughs> if that, we could do that, please. please. I would like to go to that or a Giants parade. I would even settle to go to the Jets parade. But that's not going to happen no. either. No, 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 no. Those no, teams no. aren't going. I'd so. go to a Rangers parade. Yeah, you and me both. I would go to a Giants parade. I'm a Giants fan. Exactly. So. What else? I would go to a Knicks parade. I would do that too. But the Yankees parade would be the one that I would probably go the most all out in. Exactly. I, I I'm wish- talking like I would go full blown, like face painted in my jersey, in like pinstripe pants, in a hat. Like I'm talking, I would be so like into it. They'd probably pull me up on a float. That would be pretty awesome. Imagine <laughs> that. I think this would be pretty. I I wish we lived closer to Chicago or you know Cleveland. Yeah, so I it would. Go. I want to experience one of these parades eventually. Come on, so man. <laughs> please, maybe we'll fly out. Who knows? Maybe. maybe. <laughs> Got any uh, people want to fly us out to Chicago or uh, Cleveland. or Cleveland or Cleveland? I'd go to Cleveland to be completely honest. One of the two, but um, oh, no, one of the two, one of the two, because you never know. It it could be a very quick turn of events tonight. I really it could be. I, think I it's just be such a good game. It's going to be a good game, and I can't wait to watch it. I'm going to be glued to this TV. I'm not going to be able to take my eyes off. Really, honestly, I'm going to be so... No one text me. No one Snapchat me. Nothing. Please leave me alone. I think I'm going to put my phone on Do Not Disturb. And I I'm would just, just going to sit there off. with my best friend and watch this game. I, I'm going to turn mine off. So I mean, I got to make sure, like, if my mom texts me, you know, <laughs> don't want to do that. She'll uh, she'll call me about 50 times just because if I don't answer. <laughs> She's done that before. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Cubs, extra innings. That's what I'm predicting. I'm going Cubs, nine innings, so... We'll, we'll see how that goes. We'll, wa- we'll wait and see tonight. We'll wait and see tonight. And uh, that's all the time we have for today's segment, though, guys. I hope you had a good time, as we always do yes. every week. Yes, we do. Uh, follow us at WICR on all of our uh, social media social media accounts. Just type in WICR. You'll find it. I own a college radio. Sports up. I'm Lauren. I'm Kate. And uh, we'll see you guys next week.